Hey folks, Clint Shire with the Knopf Academy here, uh, talking about another air leakage pathway on another tiny mock-up. Um, this is top plate leakage to an attic, uh, and it typically ends up being the largest leakage pathway in a home. Um, everyone has top plates in their home. Uh, the linear feet add up very quickly and create one large uh, hole. So if we can see here, we've got wall drywall on our wall, uh, ceiling joists, and then the actual leakage point is our ceiling drywall here. You see this, this gap between the ceiling drywall and the top plate. This is a little exaggerated so we can see it on camera. Typically uh, in the field, this is about a 16th of an inch gap. And that's not very big, but when you add it up over lots and lots of linear feet of top plate, you know, on this interior wall, let's say, here's one, right? Here's the other side that's gonna leak at 16th, 1 16th of an inch. So when we add all this up, every 100 linear feet of top plate, we get a little over a six inch hole. Now, remember, top plates are everywhere, and if you have an interior wall, then you have leakage on both sides of the wall. Uh, hot wants to move to cold. So in the summertime, we have hot attic air that wants to come down through this gap and into conditioned space. Uh, conversely, in the wintertime, we're gonna have warm indoor air that's gonna make its way up through here, searching out cold air and exfiltrate out, and we're gonna lose our conditioned air that way. So the easy fix for this in new construction is to easily, we'll just put a, a gasket on the top plate so when the, the, the wall drywall goes up, it compresses that gasket uh, and is sealed from the attic. Uh, in retrofit situations, it's a little bit more difficult, um, but we'll actually come through here with some type of sealant, whether that be a spray sealant, uh, gun sealant, or, or caulk sealant, and actually seal these joints up from the attic side, crawling around uh, to, to seal this up. I've taken part in a, in a handful of retrofits, and I've seen anywhere just by sealing the top plates from 48% uh, uh, reduction in air leakage to uh, a little over 20% just in taking care of the top plates. That is a huge hole and a huge benefit. Of course, if we have penetrations through our ceiling drywall, if there's can lights or electrical boxes and things like that, we want to make sure they're sealed as well uh, or gasketed to the drywall. Uh, and then again, in a retrofit situation, we would seal those to the drywall from the top side or actually put a cover over them and seal the, the cover to the drywall. Thank you.